Today on the Bowser Journal, I'm going to show you a tool that's going to save you a lot of headaches and a lot of scrapes when it comes to installing fencing. So come with us. I mean, there's Chica. There's Chica, there's Noel. Chica, you need to have those babies too. There's my Noel. And Noel's doing much better. Almost all her swelling's gone down. So with fencing, you have lots of options and which one you choose really depends on what you're trying to do with it. So this one, we want to keep the baby goats out. We don't care if the ducks come on this side, but we want to keep the baby goats from getting there. So we went with the <laughs> challenges of living on a ranch. So if you notice, this has really small squares. This is probably like a two by four inch square, I think. Perfect for keeping baby goats and stuff out. And on the top, you'll notice it's got a red wire. Um, that's a real, this area gets a good quality fence. I, I, somebody told me once that always make sure you buy the fencing with the red wire. How you doing, baby girl? Oh, she's a good girl. It's okay, Daisy. I wasn't gonna mess with you. No. When putting in fencing, you have to get it nice and tight so that way it looks good. And sometimes working with gloves sucks. So what I'm using here is a load strap that we used to use for the kayaks, but we don't use them for kayaks anymore. And I'm using a piece of metal that actually was a strap to secure things from getting blown away. I just cut the end off of it. It's, a, it's pretty rigid. So you just bring it tight. Once you get it hand tight, Now this is just a short run, but this is good for short runs and long runs. <clears throat> Somewhere in the middle or maybe multiple places in the middle, just take a piece of uh, baling twine left over from your straw. Remember I told you the most important thing on a farm is baling twine. And just tie it so it just kind of holds it up. That way you're not fighting it and wanting to lay over anything. Multiple hands makes everything so much easier. Here baby, have a drink. Tip for working in uh, zones 9A and B, especially in Central Florida in September. Stay well hydrated. This is actually a mixture of, uh, actually not a mixture, it's uh, electrolyte water from uh, Dr. Eric Bird. We love this stuff. Yesterday I did 14,000 steps and never left the property. Probably same thing again today by the time we get done with all of our projects. My wife and her honeydew list. I always have an audience when I'm in here working. Unfortunately though, my ocean inspector is a little lazy today. She's been sleeping, not keeping up with it. I already didn't put my gloves on one time and hurt my hand, so she's not doing her job. Just say no. She's sleeping. So this is the clip that you're gonna be putting on. And this makes it so much easier. You don't have to fight with your pliers and your um, and you stuff with this tool. Let me show you how you do this. So if you notice it's in like a V shape and you look at the T post, it's also, it's, they're called T because it's in the shape of a T. So you want the narrow end facing out. So you just come out, come back in. Normally my wife is helping me with this art, but now she's holding the camera. So you hook that around, bring this in.
Ain't no preening on the job, girl. And I gotta say, they make it look a lot easier than it is on TV. But this is still way easier than the way we were doing it before. Way easier. And then we gotta make sure that we pull these in so that this sharp end is inside because Noel likes to rub up against these. If you notice, there's a hole on the end of that. The hole is for this piece over here. So you put that end through the hole. One side so on. And then you just spin it up. Box into place. We interrupt our regularly scheduled video to give you a goat baby update. It's now been four days, five days, and still no stinking goats, baby I goats. I think it's been longer than five days. Yeah. Seems like a week. Way too long. The whole world's waiting for these, the birth of these babies. And both, the, both Chica and Daisy are getting huge. Um, they're uncomfortable, they're up and down. Um, Daisy's ligaments, completely gone for several days now and usually it's only 24 hours um, from the time that they disappear till the time the baby comes but she hasn't advanced anymore so hopefully tonight yeah hopefully you'll be keep a watch on our Instagram and our Facebook page and all this stuff for we the announcements. will post pictures <laughs> oh yes no matter what time it is you know it might be three o'clock in the morning we'll post them. <laughs> yep. um, we do have a favor to ask of you though um, we are closing into a thousand subscribers. Yes. We would love to break that threshold. Yes, we would love to break that threshold. So if you could share with your friends and ask them to subscribe. <coughs> See, even Nico wants you to do it too. Yeah. We just want to break that thousand. It's like a plateau, one of our first goals that we wanted to yeah. do. So. so help us get there, please. Until then, live your own story.